Alrighty, welcome to XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, yeah, it's 2022, and I'm playing this video game because I felt like it, and I've never actually beaten it before. Uh, and I just, not too long ago, I got, I used to only have Enemy Unknown, but now I got Enemy Within. So we're gonna, we're gonna play the video game. Uh, just some normal, no tutorial. I don't know how to meld, I know how to meld. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do an Iron Man because I don't hate myself. And I'll keep those on. Uh, second wave, that's right. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, I won't be saving and reloading, even though I'm not doing Iron Man. Oh, why not? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do it on normal. I do not need the tutorial, thank you for asking. And sorry about the mouse clicking, there's really not much I can do about that, it's like a foot away from my mic. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. I don't know who that is. But oh god, it's aliens! Aliens from outer space? thought the most interesting about this game is that it actually doesn't look terrible. I don't know if this is just because of uh, Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within, but it doesn't look that bad considering it came out in 2013? 2015? One of those two. They've all been gooed! And we got to ungoo them! I wish that was a mission you could do, but it's, it's not, as far as I know. Hello, Commander. Hello. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. I am the best man for this We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. XCOM! Woo! Alright, I turned the audio down a little bit, because I went back and listened to the recording and it was a little loud, so <clears throat> we'll see if this is good, and if it's not, I'll fix it for next time. Alright, so we can either get all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost less, uh, labs and workshops cost less, uh, projects in the foundry and training cost less, uh, autopsies and care... <sighs> I don't know why you would really want this. Because these don't take long normally. I don't know why this is... I mean, I guess I have to cover all their bases because Africa is you get more funding too. I don't I don't understand why this is one. They don't take that long to begin with. I normally do, like, Europe or something. I just do North America. I don't think I've ever actually done North America. It seems like fun. <clears throat> site for this operation will be in Canada. If you picked up a local broadcast, Canada, Montreal, area. we should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. 
Oh, that's right. Meld canisters, because that's new. I forgot about that. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright, I once again adjusted the audio because I forgot that I had turned it down in-game and it was just loud in the cutscene. Alright, so here's our squad. We got Carlos Perez, Jessica Jackson, Emily Jones, and Jared Peters. Gerard? Gerard Peters. Uh, for those of you that do not know how this game works, you have a squad of four soldiers. They all have guns. Uh, and it is a grid-based game where you command your little unit dudes to run around like chickens with their head cut off and shoot the aliens. I'm on it, <clears throat> There's fog of war, so you can't always see everything. And each one usually has... Uh, later on when we get, we get classes and stuff, they'll have special abilities. But for now, they're all just basic soldiers, so you have a fire option. You can fire at enemies. You have Overwatch, where you fire the first enemy that you see that moves near you. Uh, frag grenades, does three damage and a little AoE. And Hunker Down, where you uh, double your bon uh, cover bonus. Oh, and immunity to critical hits, but reduces sight radius. Didn't actually mean to do that, but I guess he's just going to be chilling over there. Moving to designated coordinates. So, and you also have... Oh, there you go, there's a melt container. You also have two movement options. You have the blue option, which is just your normal move, and you can still do an action, or you can dash, and you uh, give up your action for the ability to move the twice as far. Turn. So we're just gonna... Ah, there we go. We got aliens. Aliens! Oh, there's a second meld container, too. Neat. Um... And I believe... From the little I've played, I believe you do not have they only the meld canisters only go away if you do not recover them by the end of the mission or the timer goes off. So if we were to if these were the only two aliens on the map and we were to get rid of them, uh, we would still get credit for the meld containers, I believe. Oh, but hey, look at that! There's more aliens! <laughs> Neat. Oh, he was on Overwatch. Yeah, so that's a little fun fact. Ow! Uh, aliens can also do Overwatch and take shots. Uh, A the hit. Ah, one damage, son of a... So what these little friends over here did, I believe it's called mind melding or something similar basically he is giving a buff to him he has extra health i don't know if he has any other buffs but if we were to take this one out then he would also die so oh that was a dash maybe i shouldn't have done that hmm oh you can hit uh wasd to move the camera or you can scroll with your mouse uh, and then Q and E to rotate, just so you can get better visuals. Uh, oh, that's a terrible chance to hit. I can grenade him, right? Oh, if I blow the container. Is there a world? There's not a world where I don't hit the container. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a shot. Oh, I still hit him worth something go for it lady yeah oh, she did it and as you see he also gets taken out so that's cool uh, another thing to note because I mentioned like the whole action system um, if you take a shot you end your turn or if you do any of the options down at the bottom of the screen you end your turn Ah, 
But I was just letting you know where the milk container is, even though I totally don't see it. Uh, yeah, so I can select beaters and hit left click to collect, and we collect milk. Um, I think I am just going to do this just as easy. Oh, they did not actually hit the other one. Okay, good to know. Uh, and there are multiple levels to missions. See how I'm on the ground, the ground. So I usually just see this, but then if I scroll up, I can see on top of the string car. Um, anywhere useful is still dashing. I guess I'll move here in Overwatch. Oh, I can. Oh, I have line of sight because of the wall. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, see, two two canisters recovered because we finished the mission. We could theoretically run over there, collect it. Ah, uh, research, research. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. I'd love to go to the research labs, but I just got told about how cool my soldiers were, game. Yeah, so... Is he the only one that got wounded? Okay. <clears throat> so, poor Carlos should not do much, so he is wounded. I can't use him for five days, but everyone else got a class. So, support. Commander support is all labs. about... Um, you get a smoke grenade, uh, you can get a bunch of buffs to medkits and stuff. They are just all around there to keep the squad alive. Sniper! Sniper's all about doing heavy damage at long range, not very good at close range, just because, you know, sniper rifle. Uh, and they have an ability called Headshot, where they get an increased critical chance. Commander to the research labs. Commander to and the then research Heavy! Labs. I believe this is the one I got the grenade kill with. So, she gets a rocket launcher. <clears throat> what the rocket launcher lets her do is basically an ability-free grenade. That you can only use once permission. I think you can have multiple grenades. I don't actually know. I don't remember. I have no really messed with that. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alright, so we have a bunch of things unlocked, but first, we gotta go talk to some folks. Hi, ma'am. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. <clears throat> See, in that cutscene... The game honestly does not look too bad for being kind of old, but you can definitely tell that it's old. Alright, so we can research Xenobiology. I believe this unlocks the ability for us to capture them. Weapon fragments, we can make alien weapons, alien materials, we can make uh, alien armor, and meld the new stuff to enemy within. Um... That's the more fun one, so we're gonna go with that. Pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. She speaks too much. And ah, she's a woman. Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. 
I love him because he has this slight little air of pretentiousness to him, Commander, and I control. think it's hilarious. Alright, so we can make medkits, and we can build satellites. I will not worry about satellites right now, and I will just build some medkits. Let's build two. It's good enough for me. Alright, mission control. This is where we scan for aliens. Wow. Alien spotted. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. I will actually ignore this for a moment. Sorry, folks. I'm gonna hire more soldiers. Something I should have done before I scanned. Uh, we'll just go to barracks capacity of 20 or 70. Uh, those guys will come in three days. So. We will run with what we've got currently. So $200 for completing this panic. I guess I should go over that first. I don't actually know who all will watch this video and who all has not played this game before. But panic is a mechanic where if a country gets panicked, they will pull out of XCOM entirely. And I believe... Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Yeah, yeah. So you see these little bars up at the top? Uh, if you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight countries pull out of XCOM by getting to full panic, you lose. Uh, I think it's just because the alien gets thrown, in, or the world gets thrown into the alien chaos and you just lose control. And that's technically... Oh, I don't remember how the con I don't remember what the canonical ending of this game is that leads into XCOM 2. I know we lose. All right, whatever. Uh, so I can get four scientists, four engineers, or two hundred dollars. Um, having more scientists and engineers, I believe, means that stuff just gets done faster. I think they are technically. I think with scientists stuff gets done faster and with engineers it lets you build more things because if we go to uh build by items see how it says five engineers i believe we need to have at least that many engineers to build it because if i manufacture multiple then the cost of engineers does not go up so i believe it's just that uh we need engineers to a number of engineers to build a number of things. Alright, back to this. I'm gonna go for the money. The money seems the most useful to me. Alright, so we get to build our squads. We're gonna clear these guys out because, yes, it says the difficulty is moderate, but frankly, it's not gonna be that difficult. So we're, we don't have any Frenchmen, so go yawn. Go Jack. We'll go Bongani. And we'll go Lang. Liang? Lang? Uh, so I will, instead of have a grenade on all of them, I will have a med kit on one of them. Just because, just in case something happens, we'll be able to heal them up. is sending an urgent mission request. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Okay. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So here, so they have a health stat, a will stat, and an offense stat. Health is obvious, that's how many hits they can take before they're down. Uh, offense, I believe, is just like their base chance to hit. I don't actually know. And then will, as far as I understand, will is their ability to 
Uh, if something stressful happens, they can they have a chance to go into a panic. I believe their will is like the likelihood that they will not go into a panic, but I do not actually know for certain. Um. Yeah, go ahead and scout. Ah, cool! I found them right away. Great. So the one meld container's right there. Look at these pigeons, bro. They're just chilling. Clear to engage. Oh, there's more. Neat. All right. Now that's something I have to deal with. It sucks that I, I like to get anywhere useful is to dash. Oh, I can take a shot. I might as well. Oh, I got him! Nice. I'm gonna have this man all the way out. Is who he was okay? No, he's not flanked. Okay, so that's another little thing. You are flanked if you are in cover, but an enemy, not the fountain, you jerks. Uh, you are considered flanked if an enemy has like adjacent line of sight to you. So if he was down here a little more, he would be considered flanking. Uh, Bongani. That's right. <coughs> so, you probably can't see. And I don't want you just standing in the middle of nowhere. So, I'm going to put you on Overwatch. Just in case he moves. And again, just anywhere is dashing. Uh, I could go up here, but I would be like around the open. Let's do this. So let's run here. Alien object in sight. Oh, I gotta get those meld containers. I'm gonna have this guy move up. That's cause... affirmative. Got the goods. So what about him? Let's try it. Yeah, cutscene! So if you see the little cutscene happen, that means you hit them for sir. For certain, for sure, for certain. Uh, can I get a better angle? Headed there now. I can. There we go. No way there we go. First miss of the game. And if you know anything about this game, if you've seen any memes, you know how notorious their aim can be sometimes. You can have a 90 and still miss. The ten percent does matter. Oh, it's all the way out there. Yes, sir. I should be close enough to it. Head now. Yeah, I'll take two, I guess. Oh, Overwatch. You could hit me? I can't even see you. Oh, there's more. Okay. Uh. Okay, CUNY is to cycle targets. I don't even know how that's a 60% chance to hit them. You are through a bush. You are through a fence. You are through a car, even. I mean, yeah, through the window, but I 
I'm just gonna have you haul ass back. I am actually gonna have you move closer to him because I need to med get him. Oh, he's getting a brain blast. Don't... Oh, you're hitting him. Ow! Oh, yep, there you go. He's panicked. So, if he's panicked, he will... I will not have control of him for a couple of rounds. And he will just kind of do his own thing. So that's great. Hopefully you can reach... Oh, no, you can't. Son of a... Now, normally, if their turns are over and you... So this only applies to doors. You can usually reselect them and have them collect it. But since that is not a door... Uh, oh, I can't do anything with him. That's right. Oh, you are also panicked! Why are you also panicked? What happened to you, you big baby? Who can we even fire on? Oh yeah, 35% chance. I'm just gonna overwatch. Cool. Yeah, she meld lost. So that just means I didn't get the meld points and I'm not gonna get as good of a like rating on the mission. But frankly, uh I don't really care. I feel commander. Oh, you're running out of shots, man. I am in full cover. I'm gonna reload. Back in. Uh, you On can run up and get done up. three damage and it won't kill him. I'm gonna do it. Going out. All right, more brain blast. Still stabilize? Now that, I know he cannot heal, but I don't know if he can No more medical applications. Okay, he cannot. The funny number, I have to. I hit the funny number. think there's any aliens out on this side? I mean, I can have him slowly make his way... Oh, hello, sir. Ow! Goodness. That hurted, bro. What's your problem? I could, you know what? Just because I don't want to deal with this. Here's a present. It's Santa! 
Now, if I had the tutorial vo voiceovers on, the research lady would be like, No, don't kill them with grenades. You lose out on materials and something. But, uh, you know? Also, kaboom. That actually is something that can happen normally. If you miss enough shots and just dink them all onto the side of a car, uh, you eventually will make the car explode. This is now, I believe it's half cover instead of full cover? Or was it ever full cover? Uh, yep, straight into the street sign. Shot wide! Oh, actually, isn't there an option? Uh, edit options. Audio. A new soldier spoke in the age of master nationality. Okay. I think it's because these guys were already in XCOM that they do not get their uh, native tongue, but. I actually hit him. Nice. Oh, I'm just gonna have you sit back and reload. Okay. Have you run up and get done up. Mission accomplished. Yeah, see, raining good. Hey, I didn't lose any men, surprisingly. Some of them did four damage to me, man. Like, I should have lost someone. <laughs> the anti-alien sign on the side of the ship. That's hilarious. Alright, so sniper, nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, support, nothing we haven't seen before. And now the final of the four classes, assault. Uh, and he said, run and gun allows firing or overwatch after dashing on the turn it's activated. So basically that whole thing about how they can only uh, run, do an action, or dash, you hit that with your cool looking shotgun, uh, you don't have to worry about that. And I have two of those now. Alright, neat. Oh, that's right. The medals too. That's something else that's new about. Yeah, and here you go. So I got the... I got the completion money for helping France, but now panic has increased across Africa and North America. We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, will we now, Commander, sir? We can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. So, since the other two missions were in South Africa and Mexico, they gained an extra panic, but also just they just uh, generally have increased in panic all right i'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here are they studying us why abduct humans seemingly at random there must be a pattern that we haven't established yet or they just want to wreak havoc Ever thought about that? Nothing has to be as scientific as cold, cold-blooded murder. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Alright. I hope you folks have a good day, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you decide to watch this. Sweet.